Let's change the background color of our page. Go to Page in the menu, turn Page Settings, Style, and let's change the background. And let's use our custom color with the gradient. Now let's build our charts. Let's add the chart, and we'll add first a time series chart to look for the trends in our number of views. Let's remove the grid lines. We're going to make the grid line color transparent. Go to grid line color, set it to transparent, and for the axis, we'll select white. Let's also change our line color and line weight. I'll select this color and increase the line weight to 3. Let's also style our border. So scroll all the way down to background and border, and I'll select 5 for border radius. Here's the border color. Select that. Let's increase the border weight to 2. Here you go. Now let's add our geo charts. But first, I'd like to build our outline. Let's use a shape. Let's make the background transparent. Change the border radius to 5, border color, and the border weight to 2. Now let's add our map. Go to add the chart, and we'll select the geo chart, this one. Let's style the colors. For the maximum value color, let's select our initial custom color. All right, let's resize our map. I'll remove also the legend. On select show legend. Great. Now let's add a bar chart. Now the reason for this is because with your chart, sometimes if you have lots of data, it may be a bit difficult to identify the countries that bring the results that you need. So one cool trick is to select a chart, and then we are gonna copy paste our chart. Now you should have two charts, and now what you'll do: keep the selection, go to chart in the properties panel, right above style, and let's change our chart to a bar chart right here. Fantastic. Now I'm just interested in the top five countries, so let's reduce the number of bars to five. Let's change our color and have it set to this one. We also need to change the metric from conversion to I'll select users. Total users. So basically, we're looking at our top five countries in terms of users. Let's go back to style again, make the grid color transparent. Let's change the axis color to white. Now let's resize this. Lastly, make sure to enable cross-filtering. This way, we can filter the data based on one of our selections. So scroll down to the bottom in the Properties panel on the Setup, in Short Interactions, and enable cross-filtering. Now users will have the option to select one country of their choosing, which will filter out all the data on our chart. I'll select Germany. Everything will change now. Great, let's continue. Now that we know our top countries, we also would like to know what are our top pages, the content that brings us the most users. Add a chart. This time we'll select the table chart. Great. Select your table chart. In style, we are going to make our text more visible. Go to header font color. Let's set it to white. So we can see what we're doing. This is for the headers. Now for the table labels, again, font color and select white. Let's remove our row numbers. Let's remove the header background color and set it to transparent. Let's remove the cell border color, transparent as well. Now I'll reduce this chart so that we can focus only on the top five pages. Here we do have the date dimension and we'll replace it with something like page title. Back in style, I'll remove the pagination. Now let's add our border color. Let's change the border ridges first to five. Border color. This one and let's view everything. I just need to fix the border weight and set it to 2. Here you go. Now let's add our device categories and also a space for users to contact us if needed. Go to add a chart. Let's use the donut chart. Replace the dimension with device category. Go back to style. Let's manage the dimension values and their colors. So let's change desktop and I'll select this color. Let's change mobile. Use our custom color and this should work. There you go. Now let's switch up the legend. I would like it at the bottom. I'll reduce and on a chart. And let's do the same thing again for the border radius color.
In fact, to create more space, I'll just remove the legend. Select none. Now I'll just adjust the table chart a little bit. Everything is just aligned. I've used views here, but you can also add other metrics like number of users and revenue and number of conversions. Let's move on to our contact section. And let's add a shape. Change the background color. Let's use our custom color. If you look at the initial dashboard, the images that you see here were actually built on canvas and then I removed the background and downloaded them with a transparent background. So now just upload your image. Size this. Perfect. Let's add some text. Here's a font size. Make it bold. There you go. Now I'll not go through the entire process of adding titles because you should know how to do this by now. All right, now we have added our descriptions, devices, top pages, users with trend, top countries, and you may have maybe noticed that I should change views for users. Now let's add our filters and then we'll be done. We are interested in knowing from where our users came from, so we will add the source and the medium as filters. Let's go to add control, select drop down list. In the control field, I'll just use our session source medium. Style this up. By now, you should all know how to do this. We can rename our dimension. Go here on the pencil icon and let's rename this. Don't worry, you can always refer to what is the initial source field, which is right under here. Now, to add the kind of icons that you see here, you can go to a site like flaticon.com and type in the type of icon that you're looking for. Now, you select an icon. Now, what you can do is edit the icon and change the colors around, and you can then download it here as a PNG, and 64 pixels will be more than enough for our usage. And also make sure to always have a page in Oka Studio, an additional page where you add the credits to attribute your images. Since I have already downloaded mine, I'll just bring it here quickly. And let's use this one. And voila. Let's select the date range. So April 18th to April 24th, and let's apply. Our scorecard should be working. And here is our full dashboard. In size. Cool. Here you go. Wow, we come to the end of this tutorial. And honestly, thank you so much for joining us on this journey to learn Luca Studio. We've covered everything from accessing the platform to creating customized charts, and we've done it all in a hands on way by building a fully operational dashboard using a free dataset. By now, you should have the skills to create your own data visualizations with Luca Studio. Remember to keep exploring and experimenting with the powerful features of this tool. Thanks again for watching and feel free to like the video or subscribe if this was useful to you. This was Eric from Major School and see you next time.